Good morning. Um, I am. I have a little extra time, so I kind of wanted to combine the philosophy of like makeup mystery theater, where I have no idea what I'm gonna do, um, along with some sort of an idea. So I literally just woke up. Um, behold, I'm. I wanted to talk maybe a little bit about. I thought you guys might like to know what order should you be doing your makeup in. Um, it's something that took me a long time to figure out myself. It depends obviously on what you want to do, but um, I want to talk about really what what order you should be doing because it's going to save you a lot of time in the morning, especially if you're somebody who's prone to mistakes. Um, basically I'm going to sum it up for you in eight steps and I'll do my own along the way so you can watch. Step one is always going to be um, an eye base. So you always want to prime the eye. And I'm going to do that, you could do it with um, a bunch of different things. You could do it with um, an actual eyeshadow base, like the NARS eyeshadow base. You could do it with paint pot. You could use painterly. You could do it with, um, I mean, uh, you know what eye primers are, so maybe, I hope you do. Um, if not, that's what they are. I'm actually going to use something that I've been loving lately. I picked it up to do a couple weddings, and um, I've been loving this. So it's Aquamatic by Makeup Forever. And let's see here. Oops. I just hold my skin a little bit tight like this. Not pulling, but just... I want my eyelid to stay still when I'm taking the product over it. Then after this, I just take my fingers and I push just on the edge. Just so that it just disappears and that there's no harsh edge. So that's step one. Eye base is always step one. Second step, eyelining. So I've done this a ton of times and I guess now's a good time to show you again. Um, I'm going to do, use my favorite eyeliner in the whole world. I really, 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 really hope that this eyeliner takes off and like goes viral because I can't stop talking about it. I think it's just fabulous. Um, it's this Trish McAvoy Intense Gel Liner in black. Um, you could always do, I'm going to zoom in even more, you can always do the brown one. But basically what I do is I lean my head back and I leave this much space between my eyelid and my finger. And notice I just push on my eye and my lashes flip up. And the key to this is, I know you can't tell because it's zoomed in, but my head is leaned back like this. You can see like right at my nose. But just push, 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 push. Come on. And then all I'm doing is making dots. I'm using this little camera lens as my mirror so I might not be as clean as I should but that's okay. But notice how I'm barely touching it, it just melts right in between. When you close your eye, you shouldn't have anything on top, so if you do, just wipe it off really quick, because once this sets, it totally sets. The key is to get the liner in between the lash, not on top, and not on the waterline. So, I'll show you the difference. It's a pretty big difference, right? So now they're both done. Um, this liner comes with a little sponge on the other end of it. Now some people like to like smudge. That's really not what I think this is intended for. I'm going to just flip my eyelid up again. You just want to clean off the waterline because the only time that I've ever noticed this eyeliner transfer is when it was on the waterline. It would transfer to my lower waterline, which wasn't the look I was going for, so it kind of pissed me off. But um, but that was my own fault, because I didn't clean my waterline off. So anyways, that's this liner. I think everybody in the whole world needs that liner. And anyways, 
that's step two, but we're still on step two. So step two, step one was eye base, step two is any color. So um, any eyeshadow color. You know, I haven't used this in a long time, and I love this palette, so I'm going to go ahead and use, um, oh, it's a brand new one, too. I'm going to use this Dior 508 New Design palette, and it's got like a burgundy cream liner and a little bit of a primer with it, but I'm not a big fan of, like, using the middle of these, these Dior ones as a primer because it doesn't really prime anything, <laughs> and it doesn't stop it from creasing, but I am going to pop it just right in here, just with my finger, and I feel, oh, I have a little sleep, that's cute. I do like the texture of this because over the top of the primer that I already had, there was a difference in texture. So now this is kind of at least smoothing out the texture. But even that, if I wanted to run, perfect. You know what I mean? Like, good to go. But, I'm not done there. I'm going to take a um, 217 brush, MAC. I'm going to go into this color. And whenever I do my own eyes, I like to lean back and find my crease. So once that shadow is applied, I'm going to go into the, um, the lighter, kind of creamy shadow down here. And I'm going to pop this right in the center of the lid. And you know what's funny is for like, I literally have hundreds of brushes. I'm, I'm not saying that to be like, ooh, but I have hundreds of brushes. And most of the time when I do my own eye, I use a brush just like this for like the whole thing. And so I have all these other brushes, which I inevitably use for other things, but um, but I just find that so funny. I mean, whenever I talk to people about what brushes they, sh they should use, I'm like, do you love that brush? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, then buy a few of them. And they're like, well, why would I buy the same, the same brush? And I'm like, because you use it the most. Like, then you get the same brush multiple times. It's okay. I know it's like odd to think about, but I have so many of these brushes. I love this one. And I love it like different brands. I have it in like different brands, but it's like the same brush idea. So I have the 217, I have the Trish 30, which I actually like more than this because of the handle and the hair is a little bit softer, but um, I like that. I like um, Smashbox has one. I have uh, Chanel, I have, I'm looking down, um, all sorts of them. Lauren Luke did a really good one. She's the, another YouTuber. She came out with a brush line. That would be like a dream come true. Okay, and then this shadow up here, now you can't really see how it doesn't do it justice. There we go. It's like a little bit sparkly. I just use my finger. and pop the sparkle right on the lid. And the great thing about this is Dior really knows how to do sparkle. It's um, it's not shimmer, it doesn't matter how old you are, you could wear this. Um, it's not going to cause any crepiness, but it's just so micro fine. And sometimes when I get a thick layer like that, I'll switch my finger to pick up some fresh product. I think the ring finger does really well because usually your finger kind of fits right in this nook. But just 
just want the lid like that. It's pretty. And my favorite brush, like this has to be one of my top five favorite brushes of all time. This little Dior eyeliner brush, it's a little mohawk, so see how thin it is? I know, it's so cute. And I'm going to use it in my cream eyeliner. So it just gives a little definition. The burgundy is really great for any eye color. I love it with brown eyes, brownie hazel eyes like mine, or blue eyes, it's beautiful. I'm going to do the other eye, and I'll see you on step three. Step three is lashes. So you could do this however long you want. You could, you know, do your little extension things. You know, I might do those today. That would be kind of fun. Um, eh, no, no, I don't want to. Um, so I'm just curling my lashes. Hmm. I'll do uh, Trish Lash Curling Mascara. This is actually the a very famous mascara. Um, it's really it sells really really well. Um, it's almost like plastic. And what I love about this is I never have to worry about it bleeding. It's like weightless. And sometimes I'll go for a different mascara to do more drama or I'll layer them. I'll do like like a really like volumizing regular not water resistant mascara and then I'll put this on top just to kind of coat it. But anything you want to do for your lashes, you're going to do step three. And these, like the first three steps, are the longest steps. The rest is a breeze. And it, I mean, obviously, it depends if you want to then cream contour yourself because, you know, you're going to the porn awards. You can, you can do that. Um, if you want to... If you want to um, do whatever you want, like I said, every step could be as short as you want or as long. So, for example, you could have done like a little bit of eye base, then you could have just like dusted one color. You didn't even have to eye line if you don't want to, but I always like that liner in between the lashes. It makes a huge difference. Step four, the most exciting step: triangle of light. So, this is not. <laughs> hmm, that would have been funny. That was eye base! The triangle of light. I'm gonna hug your nose. You're gonna go right back up. Now this is instant eye lift from Trish. I think this is something every person needs its beautiful product and it's just so easy. So make a triangle. Your V. Um, I just like to use my finger or you could use a flat synthetic brush. But me and my ring finger we have a lot. We have a we have a pretty strong relationship. This is what makes the most dramatic difference for, as far as makeup goes. And as far as like contouring, it's like a pretty essential step. I'm gonna do a little bit more right there. Look at the difference. I'm using luminous silk. I'm doing three pumps of that with one pump of this beautiful golden highlighter from Japanesque. Just mixing it right in. Ring finger again. 
Should I be using a brush? Yes. Are all my brushes dirty right now? Yes. I had to jump on a conference call, so I'll see you guys for step six, seven, and eight. I just felt like going to the porn awards today. So step five is finished. Step six is going to be any sort of setting, any face color, bronzer, blush, anything like that. I'm just gonna do a little bit of banana powder just because I am more yellow complected and I just love the way that this sits. It doesn't look like heavy yet or, or it doesn't really flatten the look and so this is just, it's banana powder by Ben Nye. 15 bucks for a huge thing of it. I'm going into Nude Bronzer by Dior. So this is all step six. Anything after foundation that goes on the face, blush, bronzer, powder, anything is step six. For blush, I'm gonna do Classic Margin by MAC. Step seven is brows. So however you like to do your brows, do them however you like. But I'm going to use my favorite. There's, this has been my favorite lately. Um, the Aqua Brow by Makeup Forever. Just do a tiny dot like this. Grab my Sephora brow brush. And if you already have a nice shape brows, if you're somebody who like is always going to get waxed and stuff like that, like for your brows, you um, this isn't necessarily a product that that you need to use for somebody like me who has very thin eyebrows naturally. I almost need the um, the thickness of this product just to make it appear like I have full brows. such a huge difference. And gorgeous pink. That's the finished look. What do you guys think? Um, I like this one. This one's good. But anyways, to recap, step one is your eye base. Step two is your dots in between with the intense gel liner and any eyeshadow that you want to do. Step three is mascara. Step four is your triangle. You can always remember four because it's got a triangle built right in. Step five is any sort of base you want to do and if you want to do cream contouring. Step six is any setting powder, blush, bronzer, anything on the face. Seven is your brows, and eight is your lips. So um, if, as long as you can remember what eight steps those are, write them down, put them like at your little battle station that you have. Um, it's going to definitely help expedite the process in the morning. Now, um, for me, it's, <laughs> it's a, depends on how elaborate you want to be with each step. But um, yeah, it should that should really kind of streamline and take the guesswork out of it and it helps you remember like all the different little steps and if you want to skip it if you don't want to do liner don't do liner but you know go from step one to step three or you know step start at mascara if you want to start three to eight and um, just learn it in that way it's gonna make it a lot easier for you and I learned the eight step lesson thanks to um, the brand Trish McAvoy which you guys should definitely check out whenever you're in any um, nice department store it's a really really wonderful line and the um, more I fall in love with it, the more I'm using it every single day, not only on myself but on my clients. So it's not a brand I see people talk about a lot on YouTube, but um, you know, hopefully I can change that a little bit. So, anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and any um, ideas for future videos. Let me know; I'd love to do them for you. Thanks so much. Bye.